Your Excellency, Prime Minister Najib Razak and Datin Srin Rosman Mansur, distinguished members of the Malaysian delegation, Senate President Franklin Delon, the Speaker of the House, Felisano Belmonte Jr., His Excellency Giuseppe Pinto and Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Chairman Al Haj Murad Ibrahim, and members of the MILF Central Committee, Professor Miriam Cornell, and members of the GPH Negotiating Panel, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Your Excellency, the Filipino people and I are filled with sincere appreciation for your presence here today and that of your wife, Datin Paduka Seri Rosman Mansur, especially since we know full well that you and your government have the heavy responsibility of attending to the disappearance of Polynesian Airlines flight MH370. Such a tragedy understandably led to an outpouring of emotion, of uncertainty, anxiety, and anger. And you, as head of government, were thrust into a position where you were asked to immediately answer questions to which the full answers were not available. I empathize with you fully. The sadness of this event weighs heavily on all people of goodwill around the world. And in this spirit, the Filipino people and myself reiterate our offer of any and all forms of assistance that we can possibly render. Your Excellency, it is especially during the most challenging times when brother nations should stand in support for one another. The Philippines saw this especially in the way that Malaysia, under your leadership, has supported our aspiration to build a just and lasting peace. With the earlier signing of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bang Samoro, peace is indeed within our reach. This evening, we are gathered in shared achievement and optimism. I believe I speak not only for my government, but for all Filipinos in recognizing the tremendous personal initiative, risk, and leadership displayed by Your Excellency, which helped us to secure an inclusive and peaceful future for our countrymen in the Bangsamoro. I myself wish to extend my personal gratitude to you, as it has always been clear that you view Filipinos not as adversaries, but as brothers, as partners to whom you have readily offered assistance. There is no doubt in my mind that ours is a genuine brotherhood, one made more meaningful by our shared commitment to advance peace in the Bangsamoro, a peace that opens up the possibility for fostering greater stability, security, and prosperity for our respective peoples, and in particular for my countrymen from the Bangsamoro. Your Excellency's presence here marks the culmination of a significant chapter in the peace process, and consequently, in our national narrative. In the Philippines, we have a concept called utang na loob, which translates to debt of gratitude. Rest assured, as we move towards the realization of our aspirations for Mindanao, we will never forget the significance of your contributions. With this comes our pledge to build on the success, one that is truly shared by Filipinos and all other peoples of goodwill across the world, and our promise to continue standing by the Malaysian people and strengthen the ties that bind our nations. On that note, please allow me to propose a toast. To the good health and happiness of His Majesty, the Yang Di Pertuan Agong of Malaysia, and Her Majesty, the Raha per Permaisuri Agong. And to the health, happiness, and greater success of Your Excellency, the Prime Minister, and Madam Rosma Manso. To the health and continued success of the Honorable Tenku Gafar the Malaysian facilitator and of the members of the peace panels, to the ever-deepening friendship between the peoples of Malaysia and the Philippines and to the rapid advancement of the peoples of Mindanao in this new era of peace, harmony, and progress. Oh boy. <laughs>